In this video, we're actually going to talk about laying out the machines. Let's say you need three machines and how to position them in the best way so that the airflow is maximized. So let's just assume at this point you've got a rectangular room, okay, and you've got three machines. Now, some people would say, well, the bar is over here. Let's say this is the bar, all right. So a lot of folks might think, well, let's kind of surround the bar with the three machines. And while that in theory makes sense, there's a better way to go. Um, my approach to um, handling the smoke in a place like this would be to evenly space them out, stagger them a little bit, and alternate the airflow. And let me show you what that looks like. So if you've got the room, you kind of divide it up a little bit. All right. You know, you've got really six quadrants here. Um, essentially what you want to do is put one in each space and then stagger them a little bit. So here's what that looks like. Instead of putting them right down the middle of the room, what you'd want to do is probably put one machine here, one machine there, and one machine here. Okay? And you're spacing it out. Now why this is important is when we actually get into the airflow created by this. Now some people might think, well, it's positioning intake pointing at the bar so that if this is where most of the smoke is, you've got the intake drawing in directly into these three units. And again, that may make some amount of sense, but let me show you the difference. Here's what I do recommend. I recommend that we alternate the airflow directions. And here's why this makes more sense than positioning them all in one direction. If you do that, you've got a wall of air moving against this far wall here. But by going with um, alternating airflow, you actually sweep the room right to left. And here's what happens to the airflow. It goes against this wall and swirls around. It's picked up by the other one. Hits the wall, kind of comes back around. Um, same thing holds true here. It's going to kind of swirl around and this one's going to kind of create an airflow. So you essentially get a nice figure eight pattern here. Um, and there's no dead spots within the space at all. Uh, based on the way our machines work, they throw a lot farther than they will suck. In other words, if you are drawing the smoke in, the suction's powerful, but you can't exactly expect a single machine to pull smoke in from 20, 30 feet away. So that's why we stagger them so the input is closer to the back to the to the wall um, and then they push. So any smoke that happens to be being created here will get blown down against the wall, swirl around and get picked up by the other unit. This airflow to me makes a lot more sense and just by positioning things this way um, we've had extremely good success. We've had some customers lay it out wrong, call us, they give us a layout of how they're, they're set up, and when we suggest they change it and create this alternating airflow, it works out really, really well. Um, when it comes to airflow and layout, the other two things you need to know about, uh, I'll cover in the next video about installation. And that ties into airflow, but it's more of an installation question. So we will see you in the next video. Thanks.